So the three inch tadpole has finally dropped and here's mine. It's already assembled but we're going to do a bit of a comparison between the two and a half and the three. So I've previously flown a two and a half inch as well as a three inch toothpick and I noticed a significant performance increase in the three inch which is why I was so excited when Armatan finally announced the three inch frame instead of the two and a half inch frame and uh, immediately had to buy it as soon as it came out. These Gemfan 3016 tri-blade propellers are fantastic. As I said, I'll run this with 8000 kV motors on 2S on the 3 inch and uh, it seems to work really well. Um, so this is a fantastic build but this is Armatan so that's going to be next level. So we have a two and a half inch frame which came off of the quad and a three inch frame and other than the size difference you can actually notice that the arms are thicker on the three inch frame to add some extra strength for that extra length so you can see here that there's a large amount of extra material on the arm to add some strength see on both sides of the arm extra material so how does that affect the weight of the frame Let's put it onto the scales and we're getting nine grams for the two and a half inch and we are getting just under 10.7 10.66 grams for the three inch um, and on mine that creates a all up weight of and we can't see there 65.5 grams roughly so one thing that I noticed when doing the swap was that if you are using the toothpick mounting uh, bracket or adapter whatever you want to call it that allows you to leave this and this screw in so the whole stack with the motors attached and the camera attached everything comes out you release these two screws here all of the screws on the motors and then you can take out these screws and if I didn't already say it the screws for the stack the whole thing will drop off as one and then you literally just move it over it's very easy um, so just to quickly run through what I've actually got on there these are the iFlight Zing 1103 8000 kV motors which I'll run on a 2S 450 milliamp hour China Hobbyline uh, battery XT30 to keep it weight down um, at the moment I'm using the um, nameless RC whoop board which I've had no problems with uh, RPM filter is not enabled as it's BB2 chip no no actually it is so it has RPM filter enabled on this quad because um, it has the BB2 chips so we're using the JESC firmware um, we've also got the um, Nameless RC DVR VTX, which I don't particularly rate the VTX part of it uh, in comparison to what we had in there originally uh, because I was using, let me try and find where it's gone, so I was using the TBS Nano Unify, which is right here. And I um, mean, size wise, it's not even comparable. The uh, Nano Unify is way, way better. But it doesn't have DVR, so I tried swapping over, but I'm unhappy with that. So I'm going to be getting a different DVR and then we'll be running these separately again. Um, and then it's a Foxeer Nano Predator 4, and that's fantastic. Uh, FR Sky RXSR with um, F port. So it's all down one wire. And then we'll take it out later and we'll give it a fly and uh, 
hopefully it will live up to my expectations. Um, this thing over here is a uh, JEP RC. Uh, was a 2.5 but I swapped the frame out for the 3 inch and really noticed the difference so let's hope it's the same again now.